Welcome everybody. Welcome to another tutorial. I have a new video for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to create round objects, how to create curvy round model um, shapes. So there, there's a lot of industrial design students that will uh, find this useful. Um, some many students out there are working on uh, new new product ideas that that's uh, round and curvy and it's more welcoming and different to normal models. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's good to work with surfaces in Crow Parametric. So go file, make a new file, and just give it a name. Pick a part file. Make that full screen. I'll turn on the planes here. And I want to check that it's the right units. Go file prepare model properties here. Click change units. Set it as millimeters and click OK and close the panels off. OK, front front planes here. OK, I'm going to start by creating a bottom surface. OK, so I'm going to create a square here. and click OK and click fill to make that a surface and when we're working with curvy objects we, we're gonna create surfaces by surface each each of them define them so we'll start with the bottom and we're gonna make it a round surface click on sketch on here again and we're gonna use the ellipse tool here join ellipse click OK and then we'll trim that out. We'll go trim here and select the trimming element. And we want to keep the inside, so we'll leave the arrow inside here. Click OK and we'll trim that. Just be aware, um, we've got to trim it like that because all surfaces are made with a horizontal or a vertical profile. So we've got to make it a square, so we made that a profile. If we create a circle and we might click fill, sometimes that doesn't work really well. So, all right, now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna make the top surface. We'll click on sketch, click sketch. And I'm gonna use a spline tool here to create, create a curve. Creo Parametric is a parametric software. Um, it really needs the curves to be well defined for it to to work mathematically. So um, it's very important to understand how surfaces are made. Um, so all surfaces are made using a curvature one way and another way, and they they um, sweep together to make a surface. So I have a, a curve there. Now I'm gonna click the sweep tool. I selected the rail and I click on profile here uh, or the or the section section profile and if I click here it will it will move to make uh, make the profile the other direction. So from here we are going to use the spline tool again. Okay, should I make that larger? Yep, I need to make that larger than that. And make sure that constraints move into place and make sure it snaps on with the arrow there. Press the middle mouse button to uh, deselect. And I'll just make sure that this is a a um, a complete number. And click OK. And it's gonna ask you if you uh, want to make a surface only so we're working with surfaces so click OK that should be fine and that's the surface at the top there okay so that, that's fine okay now we're going to project the the, the the curves so to work with curvy surfaces we're going to use these two here and I'm going to project this 
curve onto this surface here. So I'll click the surface here and the direction I want to project it along um, normal to the to the bottom and I want to click the chain which is the curve so and just make sure it's projecting 90 degrees up by clicking along the direction and click the bottom plane and click accept that and that's fine so so we use these tools again to work with surfaces and we, I just use the trim tool there click the arrow to point in to keep the surface on the inside so we create our two surfaces ready and now we're going to create the side surfaces to do that we are going to use the sweep tool again and we're going to select the two the two chain here uh, or rails we're going to two rails and we have a, a, a curve sweeping along the rails click on the profile to draw onto um, the profile here so what you do here is just basically new spline to uh, you can use you can try and use the icon tool arc tool but this is a parametric software it's very difficult to work with a lot of constraints so use the spline tool to work with curvy objects and that should work fine to avoid many areas and we accept that and we want to create a surface so we click OK and there you go it seems to be sweeping all the way around and just I tried it before and only sweeps halfway what you can do is just mirror that click the surface you need and mirror along the the, the the side plane and that would sometime avoid issue because to have the curve wrapping all the way around it's a complicated mathematical uh, method so, so it can be quite uh, problematic so it's good to use the mirror tool to avoid some of that or you can just model half the mouse and mirror across but uh, there you go after that we can merge these surfaces together and make it a solid click that hold control to select more than one surfaces and click merge and accept that and after you merge you also need to solidify to make it a um, a gray or oh right here there you go a gray shape and that will allow us to work with the normal tools again or the normal tools to modify the, the part so after that you can also add rounds and it should be work fine like all the other tools and I'm gonna add a round on the bottom as well and that's a really interesting style shape it looks more welcoming a bit too much at the front there okay I'll fix that double click that and I'll make that 20 make sure there's no problem press escape and we're good so there you go. there's a there's a nice shape a stylish shape that's uh, it's more welcoming it helps you to make your product different and stylish and makes hopefully makes people uh, interested in the model and make it look wow you can make it really make some nice model but that's the end of the video today hope you liked the video make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos in the future have a great day everybody